Hey guys, we are on our second reveal video. I absolutely love these. As you can tell, it's a very different home that we're in and a very different season. Officially nine months pregnant, so it is about the last hot minute we can show you this nursery before it has an occupant. So let's dive right in. We've had the most special time decorating this nursery and really figuring it out. You know, there's so much that you learn of what the baby needs, what is feasible and what's not feasible. But what I love is everything we've put into this room, not only will he grow with, but it's also beautiful and by purpose. So let's show a few of my favorite little corners, the things that we've got, the things that I advise other mamas to get, and the things that are just so cute. I had to have them, let's be honest. So first and foremost, this is our dresser it used to be Arden and I's dresser and then we realized hey this piece actually comes with a changing pad it locks right in which is great purpose so it went from our dresser to our son's dresser he's already taking our stuff I thought only my daughter would take my stuff but here we are <laughs> we have a few little stuffies and animals I love this one. I mean, how precious are all of these stuffed animals, but the fact that it has this brave encouragement, it is just so cute. And I always knew I wanted these in our nursery one day. Loved the lion for a long time. And then Arden picked out the tiger, which is just so cute. I mean, who doesn't love cute animals, especially in a nursery? So there is so much about lions that is actually significant in our lives and in our child's life. So Arden came from this beautiful testimony around a lioness arising. You can read Lisa's book for that to go in depth, but we actually have something special around lions as far as um, his conception and his birth. So we had to have a little statement and some nods. You'll see more than one. We'll let you count how many you see and see who gets it right. This area, um, I know some people might think, why does your nursery need an olive tree? It needed a focal point, it needed to break up the white. And honestly, why not make this room absolutely beautiful? I will be healing and bonding with my baby in this room and any little sparks that you have that bring life to our room, I think are well worth it. This. I wish you guys could have heard the squeal I had when it arrived. So this was on our nursery. It was definitely one of those things where I was like, we're just going to put it out there because I love it and maybe someone else will love it like I do. It is actually from France and it's a mobility enhancer. So he'll get to use this, you know, learn how to work with his legs and just get to drive his, you know, it's his first car. We didn't have to buy it. That's every parent's dream, but it's just adorable. Let's see. Well, these curtains are wonderful because they are actually blackout, which will be huge when he's sleeping in here. I feel like that's a parent hack that everyone needs to know. <laughs> but we brought in a little color because, again, we need some vibrancy, we need some fun. I love a really clean neutral palette, but, you know, got a little color also. Now, this is his crib. It actually pairs with his dressing table. It's the same company. I got them both on a really great sale, so I will link them for you as well. But I like the, the gray tone, the gold embellishments. They'll be gender neutral, which will be great for further kids down the road. And it's also a convertible bed, which is nice because once it is done being a crib, it'll be a toddler's bed. And who doesn't love getting to use same piece of furniture? <laughs> now this is his little uh, mobile went with the clouds and the sparrows one because he has the best window in the whole house again he is getting spoiled before he's even out of the womb but everything you say there's a couple more ideas too but it, anything coming up is supposed to resemble the sky and it kind of just this dreamy atmosphere this is from uncle austin and auntie jess so thank you guys so yeah we love this crib i love all the little decorations this is from Pottery Barn, and I'm probably gonna like it more than he uses it, but again, a little staple. Um, want him to sleep tight every night, and some more of his stuffies, the lions, um, this is actually a shusher, and I love koala bears. I'm hoping he will too. This is some of our sweet friend Mia, and let's transition over to the other wall. Now this, this is where the bonding is going to happen. 
This is mama's chair where me and baby will, I'm sure, spend a lot of time together, a good QT, but when we were looking at a chair, my sweet dad was like, hey, you wanna get a good chair? And we looked at a few. We went on like the cute, cheaper route, and then we went on just a really functional, and we said, you know what, this is probably gonna be where I spend a lot of time, not just with uh, our son, but again, kids down the road. So we got this chair, it is a boot clay material. The chair is from Creighton Kids. They have so much cute stuff, but it's actually a performance material as well, so it will hold up no matter what he throws at it, figuratively or literally. <laughs> but this is the best part. It has this feature, which is really nice. You can go all the way back. We won't do it, so you don't have to watch me just recline. And it glides, which makes it great for reaching, adjusting when you when he's asleep and I don't want to wake him up. So this is a, a fan favorite in our house. And we made these cute little shelves to display some of his uh, special moments, if you will. Uh, that's actually Arden's Peter Rabbit from when he was a child. How adorable is that? And here are some of his first books that he'll get to read. And another lion, uh, his 20-week ultrasound, which is just crazy. That was almost 20 weeks ago. <laughs> We've come so far and I can't wait to see you in person. But again, special books. This is from Mama Lisa. And I have to brag on my husband who's behind the camera for making this all come together beautifully and even putting in the wall trim that I wanted to see because it makes the room feel so much taller. And you did good, babe. Real good. Now here we have a little activity corner where he will lay and play, do all the, the things that babies do as they're becoming one into this world. <laughs> we went for more Montessori type toys and activities. Uh, I've seen so many videos where kids don't actually play with toys. They play with anything that's not a toy. So I thought if we got anything, let's get something that is conducive to learning or music or texture, something that will engage with his senses. Or books, because we love books, we write books. Hopefully he will love books too. If not, I don't know, we'll send these off to someone who <laughs> does like them. So here's some of his toys. Hoping he will get more musical ability than, than we have. Maybe it just passed down a couple generations or two. These are some of the toys that we've gotten for him. Uh, a lot from dear friends that have just really loved on our, our child before he gets here and it means so much. Some Spanish note cards, way more books. Yeah, he's gonna be a reader. I, I hope you're ready for that, buddy. And this goes with the Peter Rabbit. This is from Uncle Alec and Aunt Maddie. So as fun as all the bottom shelves are, I want to show you guys something. We haven't told you his name yet. We're waiting until he makes his grand debut to share. But it's actually a name that we've had for about two years. Um, picked out. It just came to us in a really special way and we can't wait to share it with you guys. But until we do, I want to give you a little Easter egg. We have blocks that spell out his name that go right here. I won't share all of the blocks, but I will tell you there's an I, H, and an A in his name. So leave your guesses below. Could be a four letter name, could be a 22 letter name. Who knows, Chris, your names have been out there. Just look in the Old Testament. But I wanna hear your guesses. And I'll be sure to link some of these products because I know for me, I had a question of, well, what do I need? Where do I get it from? Some of these toys, I'm like, I want you to be able to have them if you're decorating a nursery or thinking of a friend going to a, a baby shower. Like this is, for example, is from one of our favorite stores in Franklin called Onyx and Alabaster from our friend Tanya. So I will link those in the description. Don't miss them. We talked a little bit about the sparrows and the clouds being something that he can look up to and having this impact of the sky, dreaming. And so there was this idea, kind of this Peter Pan-esque idea, if you will, of we could have this floating ship in the sky and let that hang and also be just this neat idea of something you can look up to. So we put this up. I think it's really neat and precious. And fun fact, it doubles as a kite, so when he's a little older, he won't just look at it, but he'll get to go play with it. So that's an example of some things that you can do that add interest and character in a nursery, but have a use long term.
So this is our son's nursery. We're hoping that he's gonna love it as much as we do. We hope you've loved it as much as we do. Let me know what your favorite part was, if there's anything that you wanna know where it's from, but we can't wait to welcome this little guy in just a few weeks. Thank you for all your prayers and everything around his delivery, and we'll see you next time.